Hey guys, welcome to another plugin tutorial and today it's on scrollboard. So on the right you can see we have a pretty standard scoreboard. You can obviously use colors and format codes using this. However, this is a very awesome plugin as it allows you to create scrolling scoreboards. So if I uh, do one of three things, you can set these in the config. You can either have it when you jump or shift, it will go up and down. When you left or right click, or when you use the scroll wheel, which I would say is the best one uh, on your mouse. So as you can see, I'm scrolling up and down. You can see all of the letters and the colors and all of the format codes as well. Awesome, isn't it? Yes, it's very, very awesome. So uh, this is the default one you get. There is another default one, which is pretty cool. I'm going to show you that now. So if we do the command forward slash scroll board player, and then my actual player name, followed by whatever scoreboard you want. There's one called sample hyphen general hyphen info. And this one is very cool. So it shows you so much information. It, it shows you obviously your name, the server, the ping, your IP, how much RAM is being used, the TPS, which is ticks per second. That should be at 20. Obviously 19.98 is fine. But if it's at say 10 or even less than that, that means your server is extremely laggy. Uh, and then we have the health, food, air, which is pretty useful if you're underwater. What game mode you're in, level. If we scroll down a bit more, you can see all of these things, how many mobs you've killed, how many ore you have mined, and all of that good stuff. So we can scroll back up just to uh, check all of these. Such a cool plugin, um, like that. So now we are back at the top. So obviously, this is very config file based. There are a few config files and there are many different languages to choose from as well, which is very cool. I like that um, the developer has done that. So we are going to go into the config file now, create our own and then have a look at it in game. So here we are in the scrollboard folder and as you can see we have all of these different languages. We have German, English, Spanish, French, Italian, Dutch and Polish. We have the database which stores which scoreboard each player uses and we have the config file. So in here we have everything that you need to customize your scoreboard. So at the top you can select your language file, you can set auto updating to true or false, and uh, we can set which scoreboard players use by default. So that is very useful and if we go down a bit more we can see that you can set a scoreboard for each world. So this is very useful if you have maybe a survival world and a creative world. You wouldn't want people in creative to see how many uh, ores they've mined or something similar. So uh, you can change it like that. Obviously, uh, if you want to add a new line, you can. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, just go straight to the end, which I'm failing at, and just paste it in. And then change the, change the world, so creative, and the scoreboard could be... C hyphen scoreboard or whatever you called it. So uh, that's how you add more worlds, very, very straightforward. Then we have um, the scrolled lines. So there are three different types of methods to uh, scroll up and down. There's obviously the clicking method, the jumping method, and the scrolling method. Uh, this is the one I showed you in game, but we are going to create a brand new one using the jumping method. So if you set these values to minus one, it will go instantly up or down. Scroll down even more, we see a MyOS well database that you could set up you don't have to obviously and here it tells you the type so scrolling up and down that's very straightforward when you jump you obviously go up when you sneak you go down which uh, <laughs> it's a bit crazy I wouldn't suggest that and obviously clicking left goes up right goes down so here we have the first default scoreboard as you can see it's got all of these letters and colors uh, I showed you that and then we switch to the next one which has all of these different things so it's usually your IP, health, game mode, all of that good stuff. So what we're going to do is copy all of this, make sure you get all of it in like that and we are going to hit enter a couple of times, go down below it and paste it in. So now we have two the same. We need to change the name obviously so we're just going to call it test. We're going to change the type to jump and we are going to um, just highlight all of it, go to search, replace, and we are going to change the green to a nice cyan blue. So uh, we can actually tell that it's been changed. So that is how you create a new one. Obviously you can write whatever you want in here. And uh, down the bottom we have a static uh, scoreboard which obviously doesn't do anything because there's not enough lines. So um, 
yeah, that is how you do that. Obviously, make sure you use color codes and format codes such as Ando, which is italics, I think, just to make it look a bit nicer. So I've just restarted the server, and as you can see, I have set my uh, scoreboard to the default one, so we can see the change. So if we go to scrollboard player, my name, followed by test, we will get the new scoreboard that we created. Obviously, it was like the other one, just with a different color. And if we jump, we will go up. But as we're already at the top, if we shift, we will go down. So as you can see, um, spamming shift will make me go all the way to the bottom. And then jumping will make us go up like that. It's pretty cool. Um, but if you are obviously jumping about or sneaking, you probably wouldn't want this to be going up and down in your screen. Because it might be a bit annoying. So um, definitely the scrolling method is the best rather than uh, jumping or clicking. So that is the plugin. It's free to download, as I mentioned before. It's a fantastic plugin. Probably one of the best um, scoreboard plugins out there. There is another one that's pretty good. Um, but this is definitely one of the best. So subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.